Before I even began making this piece, I sketched out a rough design of how I wanted it to look. This DIY is mostly trial and error, and you'll see that a lot during this video, so you're essentially DIYing with me. If you're interested in specific angles used, visit my blog where I outline all of that info. I'll link it in the description box below for you guys. The first step for me was to rip the boards to half inch by half inch dowels using my table saw. Next, I lined up a few dowels and sanded each of the sides at the same time as you can see here. I figured this would be much easier than sanding down each individual dowel, and to be honest with you, I wasn't going to do that anyways, so this was the perfect solution for me. While I was at Home Depot, I saw this pre-stain, and it's supposed to make the wood stain evenly, so I got that along with a light and dark color for contrast. I pre-stained the wood in the same way that I sanded them, I just grabbed a bunch and conditioned each side at the same time. I waited 30 minutes, then stained the light color onto the wood. But when it came to the dark stain, I had to individually stain them because the color was just running everywhere and it was going in between the dowels. It was a hot mess. So I just did one at a time. And while it was drying, I conditioned the main board. I'm not sure. That's why I said, <laughs> let's see how it looks. This is not to scale. You're following this as a, if it's the scale. These are things that you have to know no. because it all matters. <laughs> In my mind. This is making my head hurt. I'm going to stain it first. <laughs> <laughs> that was all my goodness. <laughs> Finding the first angle for me was the toughest, so I took a break to stain the main piece, and when I was done, I tackled finding all of the angles. I figured once I had the main piece down for the ribbon, I could use that as an anchor piece and work around it to find the rest of the angles. To secure the dowel, I just added some wood glue to the cut piece and pressed it down. It held up surprisingly well, and to be honest with you, I didn't need any nails. I kept my white colored pencils handy and I didn't really do math y'all, I just used the pencil to mark where I wanted to cut and I found an angle on my matter saw and I used the scrap pieces to make spacers to make sure the dowels were spaced evenly. I realized that the sides of the ribbon should be equal on both sides because hello, symmetry. So I took the wood dowels and I marked down where I needed to cut each of the three dowels. I assembled the top and determined where I wanted the ribbon and then added the center pieces and finally the sides. To be safe, I dry fit all of the sides before I ever glue them down. So I'm not getting these done on the first cut. I am literally measuring, cut, measure, cut, cut a little bit more until I get the perfect length. The next day I started working on the lines around the ribbon. I measured, marked, cut, and then glued the sides down. I made sure I kept my sketch handy so I can reference where I wanted the directions of the dowel. And this was important to me because I realized that sometimes a certain direction could look kind of bad, kind of cheesy, so I kept my piece handy so I can continue to reference it. I can't stress this enough guys, I dry fitted all the pieces and then glued them down with the spacers in between each dowel. I don't want this video to be just a time lapse of me making this piece, but I wanted to actually share my thought process. Once I found the angle and I know that there will be more dowels requiring that same angle, I figure out how many dowels need to be cut at that particular angle and I cut them all down at the same time. Like I just cut a bunch of the angles and then find the next angle, cut a bunch of those angles, keep going like that. Once I was done assembling the dowels, I held up the artwork and I filled in any white spaces with the dark stain. I used a paintbrush for this so I can get into all of the nooks and crannies and wiped off the excess. I wasn't too worried about getting the dark stain on the light color because I knew I was going to gold leaf it. I added the leafing adhesive off camera and once that dried, I added the gold leaf. 
You can see some spots didn't take the leafing and that's because I honestly should have sealed the wood before applying the adhesive because the wood just soaked up the adhesive and I had to reapply it a couple of times to get the coverage I was looking for. Once I was done leafing, I cleaned up the piece with my shop vac and I added the frame. I did run into an issue where the edges of some of the dowels were overhung by like a hair. So I had to sand it down and made sure to restain that edge. And once that was done, I glued the frame and clamped it down and secured it into place with my nail gun. And that's it guys, 10 hours later or 12 hours later, I finally have my completed piece dedicated to my son. I will definitely be making a video of our journey so far, but I wanted to just share this with you. And September is Childhood Cancer Awareness Month, and I love some organizations that have personally helped us out so much during this crazy chapter of our lives. And if you want to check it out, if you want to read up on it, donate to an amazing cause, please feel free to do so. And I also wanted to say this video is in collaboration with A Subtle Reverly, and I'll add her post to the description box below for you guys. So check out her version of the geometric art piece. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. I know I just jumped off of YouTube, but honestly, my life has been crazy for the past eight or so months. And I, I just appreciate you guys coming, watching, liking, subscribing, giving this video a thumbs up, sharing it. Thank you guys again for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.